Hey, how's it going? Welcome back to some R. Chris Lyles. We're going to be grabbing all seven of the artifacts that we're going to need for the alpha boss battle that's coming up. So I'll go ahead and fly to the location, show you where it's at on GPS, and actually grab the artifacts so you can see where they're at. The first one we're doing is the artifact of the pack, and it's located just up here in the Crystal Isles, right by where our base is. So the rough coordinates are 4875 that we need to go uh, grab this one. It's going to be in this cave here. Easy if you're on a pterodon, you just simply fly in. And then over this edge here, you're going to see this dragon. And right in front of it is the artifact. Simple enough to grab. As long as you have a flyer, of course, that is. You can use grapples if you don't. Make sure nothing's around. And there it is, our first art artifact. Artifact of the pack. Looks pretty neat, man. Alright, let's go ahead and get out of here. Next one we're going to be grabbing is the Artifact of the Shadows. Oh, we have arrived to the creepiest place on Crystal Isles. We're up here at Eldridge Isle. Show you on the map where we're at. So rough coordinates are 2571. This is another very, very simple one to grab. So we're going to fly down here. There is a little cave. Is that a Carno down there too? And this one should be in here, right along the floor, at the bottom down here. If you didn't know, the crystals that are around here do give you element. It gives you element shards. So it's uh, definitely worth the trip, not just for the artifact, but to come up here for resources. And there it is there, you can kind of see it in the middle. We're heading right for it, it's kind of in the water. I don't think anything's around here. Yeah, that car knows up that way. So we'll go ahead and land here. And there we go, Artifact of the Shadows. Two down, five to go. All right, so for this next one, this one's gonna be down in the ocean. Uh, I'm taking my berry down and I do got scuba gear on because we are going all the way down. So rough coordinates are around 1425, 1426. And let's get our bearings straight before we head down. All right, we're gonna head straight down. Hopefully, not encounter any Moses or Eels. We probably will because they are all over the place. Got to watch out for the Eels that are down below us here. But then it's going to be just right over here on the other side of these weird little pillars. Jellyfish too. Man, I tell you what, this is a bad spot. And it should be just right in here. This is also where you can come to get black pearls. They grow on the sides there. We did this in a previous video. Quite a few actually episodes back. But those are black pearls you can harvest there too. Just make sure you bring something that has enough uh, carry capacity like a pleasy or something. Make sure nothing followed us in. Oh, they did. Dude, this is not good. Oh, man. I don't want to lose my berry. See, that's why you always bring something good with you. In this case, we got our sword. There we go. Barry got him. Oh, man, I'm surprised he was able to stun him. All right, let's grab this artifact and get out of here, man. So there we go. Artifact of the Stalker, and we were stalked in this one. Holy crap. All right, buddy, you did good, man. <laughs> let's get out before something else comes for us. All right, so this one is Artifact of the Lost. We're over here, kind of in between the Redwoods and the snow area. So roughly 1840, you're going to head down. I am wearing some fur mixed with my scuba because, dude, it is cold down here. Speaking of that, let me look, eat a little bit of food. But you go down to about 1480, and there's a tunnel right here we'll be going into. Make sure nothing's back there. I don't think anything's down this far. Until you get in the tunnel. Nice little area though, man. Kind of like these underwater caves that they have scattered out. All 
All right, so this is quite the long swim to get down from the, the opening back that way to this point. So there's a branch, right? It goes right and left here. Actually, it's three ways. We're going to want to stay all the way to the left here. And it should be just up around this corner. And there it is. Ooh, some jellyfish too. Let's go ahead and grab this thing and make our way back out. Double check. Yeah, man, that's bad news down there, all those eels. There we go, artifact of the lost. So this one we've gotten before. I'm not gonna grab it, we are getting pretty heavy on the pterodon here, but I will show you the coordinates of it. It's over by where the griffins are at. So the coordinates for this one are 6850. Ooh, almost fell off. And uh, you can see the artifact there. So it's the artifact of the gatekeeper, and you get a nice skin for a... Is that the one for the... Yeah, that's one for the pike or the uh, spear. I need the other one that's for my torch that I lost. But that is this one. Off to the next one. Alright, so this is another easy one to get. It is kind of over here by the wyverns area, so you got to kind of watch out for those. It is right there in front of us, actually. Another very simple one to grab that's on top. So where we're at here, rough coordinates are 7642. And again, I won't be grabbing this one. We've already gotten it before a couple times. I do want the skin out of it, though, for my torch. That pterodon is pretty way down. So this one is the artifact of the crag. Let's go ahead and put that on there. Nice. Makes it look a little bit better, man. All right, off to the very last one, and it's in a very bad spot, but uh, we'll see you back in a minute. All right, so for this one, we will be using the berry again, because it is down in the water. It's actually going to be directly down there. So let's go ahead and get him out. And we'll get the pterodon back in the cryopod. Dude's having a hard time, man. All this weight from carrying all this gear with us. All right, so the rough coordinates where we're going down at is 6664. And then we're going to be dropping directly down in. And there is quite a bit of stuff sometimes in the water here. Oh, you can see uh, Captain Suckface there. Let's go ahead and stun him. Oh, he's at level 142. Dude, he would mess me up. Oh, look at everything. Piranhas. I need to put my scuba tank on. We all right for a minute? Everybody cool? All right, let's get it before that other guy comes. So there we go. We got a skin as well. Let's get back on our berry. Let's get our tank on just for a second. I want to sit down here and look at it. So that was... Artifact of the Destroyer, which one is he? Ah, right there. That's a nice little skin, too, for a sword. Oh, man. All right, let's get out of this water. Head back to base, and we'll put these things out on display. I got to get some some pedestals make up, made up. All right, so we've got the pedestals. we got seven of those, and we have everybody else. Let's throw... These things that are in cryopods back in right now, real quick, so it'll recharge those. Go ahead and put these out. That's nice, man. At least they were pretty easy to get, except for the uh, two that were down in the water with the electric eels. Dude, I tell you what, man, those things can make you have a very bad day. I did see a taming bar pop up on them. I didn't know that you could, you could tame those things. So we got seven, right? So... Put one here. Very nice, very nice. Let's get them put in here in each one. Doesn't really matter which ones go where. Things are going to be bright, man. Wait a minute. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, that's right. The other two I, I didn't grab. I was like, oh, man, did I lose two? But they're in my storage cabinet over here, or my vault, because we got them before... When we were doing stuff, 
team of Wyverns and our the Griffins and the Wyvern. Here we go. There's one there, and I think this is the other one. Yeah, Gatekeeper and the Crag. Oh, dude, I got scared for a second, man. <laughs> oh, it is night, getting towards nighttime. I didn't want to have to go back out and get them. See, I think we're going to change this one around, though, just because it is a taller one. Well, I mean, that one's pretty tall, too. And then we'll put these other ones out here. Very nice, very nice. I like it. It does kind of bug me that they are at different heights, but uh, it is what it is, man. So all we got left is get the Argentavis raised up, and then we'll be ready to test out the Alpha boss fight and hopefully, hopefully get that done, and then hopefully move to a new map soon. Anyways, hope you enjoyed the video. Gonna leave this one here. As always, thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.